Ready? Sissy? Let's do it. Okay. What are we talking about today, honey? Uh, the motor that you bought. For what? The dozer. The 267. So these were made um, from uh, the 90s to the very early 2000s. And uh, so I've used this up the cabin to construct obstacles, etc., for my dirt bike. And uh, this thing, this has been a miraculous machine. This thing has gone places that no other dozer type vehicle could go. Not even an excavator. Is right, honey? Miraculous a little strong? No, I'm not. I'm being completely serious. Uh, so anyway, this engine, this Predator uh, 670, 22 horsepower, V-twin is going to go into that dozer because the only uh, issue I have with that dozer is it doesn't have enough power. So I could go with the 18 horsepower, uh, which is basically the, the same uh, configuration as this Predator uh, 13 horsepower 320. And it's been a good little engine, but it fouls plugs and stuff because I'm going up steep hills, I'm doing a lot of work with this thing. And I, and I think it's just too much load for that little engine. I mean, this is a, this is a heavy machine. I think the the new uh, Magnatrax, they're a lot a lot smaller, a lot less iron here to turn. So um, I'm hoping that that will fit into here. And I've done a lot of measuring, <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping for the best because that was was not a small investment. This was a small investment. So I'm a little bit leery about the handle situation. Uh, I could move it slightly forward. And I'm gonna have to, it doesn't come with a fuel tank, but it does come with this massive muffler. So I'm gonna try to fabricate because uh, that thing with the custom made muffler with two lawn tractor uh, exhaust pipes on it, it is very loud and I don't like it. So we're gonna try to retain this quiet muffler and then adapt a fuel tank somewhere on the dozer. Uh, so for the three people that might possibly watch this video, because there, there probably isn't a lot of, there may be people out there that have one of these or thinking about getting one of these, but that's a very small crowd. So uh, honey, what do you think about uh, this motor here? Uh. <laughs> My wife could care less. Um, and we went with the uh, Harbor Freight uh, it's not a predator. Uh, we went the, with the Harbor Freight motor because it's it's cheaper, and we're kind of on a budget, right, honey? Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why this garage is all cleaned out is because uh, we're moving. All of my garage stuff is in a storage locker right now, uh, seventy miles from here. The moped is still here because that might just stay with the house. Anybody want it? <laughs> <laughs> because that moped has caused me more difficult, more, uh, that has put ages onto my life. And my wife says to wrap this up. So this is part one of part two videos. We're gonna attempt to stick this in to that little tiny magnet track dozer. I have the and feeling it's gonna be more than two parts. <laughs> <laughs> this may not go into there, but that'll be a thousand dollar mistake that I've made. <laughs> All right, uh, part one.